Question 1. What is a pressure relief valve? Answer. Relief valves are automatic valves used on system lines and equipment to prevent overpressurization. Most relief valves simply lift open at a preset pressure and reset shut. When pressure drops only slightly below the lifting pressure, system pressure simply acts under the valve disc at the inlet of the valve. When system pressure exceeds the force exerted by the valve spring, the valve disc lifts off its seat, allowing some of the system fluid to escape through the valve outlet until system pressure is reduced to just below the relief set point of the valve. The spring then reseats the valve. Question 2. What is the difference between orifice and inlet size? Answer. The orifice diameter is the internal opening of the valve and is used to calculate the flow capacity of the valve. It's the inside hole. The inlet size is the interface or the size slash type of the threads where you attach the valve. As of publication Kingston valves do not come in metric sizes. Only NPT National Pipe Thread. Question 3. What if my pressure regulator is leaking or not working properly? Answer. Leaking may occur due to debris getting under the diaphragm and preventing it from seating properly and creating gaps which allows air to pass. This could be caused by having a dirty air environment or by having inadequate filtration. You should first check the regulator to ensure that the diaphragm is clean and undamaged. You should also make sure that you have an adequate filter upstream and then consider changing the filter element. Dirty air and debris in the system can also cause the diaphragm to tear in which case you would experience the same performance issues. The diaphragm can be easily replaced by purchasing a repair kit. Question 4. Is there a difference in the definition of set pressure between air and liquid applications? Answer. Yes. Liquid applications. Liquids tend to be incompressible, meaning they cannot be compressed like air. Liquids can be under pressure but as soon as the volume changes they immediately lose all pressure. Pressure goes to zero. There are three accepted definitions in the industry for liquid applications. They are start to leak, first steady stream and full flow. For liquid applications, Kingston defines set pressure as the first steady stream of flow out of the valve. Question 5. Why is my valve leaking? Answer. It is normal for spring-operated safety valves to exhibit leakage or simmer slash worn as the operating pressure approaches the nameplate set pressure typically in the 80% to 90% range of nameplate set pressure. The ASME boiler and pressure vessel code does not require a specific seat tightness requirement. A certain level of leakage is allowed per manufacturer's published literature. Kingston defines seat tightness standards as follows. Factory standards seat tightness performance oh hard seat valves no audible leakage at 20% below nameplate set oh soft seat valves no audible leakage at 10% below nameplate set at very low set pressures 20 pounds per square inch and below the ratio of the downward spring force as compared to the upward pressure force is very small in these cases it may be impossible to achieve seat tightness use soft seat valves for superior seat tightness in applications which fall within the soft seat material temperature limitations. Although soft seat valves will typically provide a higher degree of seat tightness than metal seats, factory standard does not ensure bubble tight seats, regardless of seat material. Question 6. What set pressure should the valve is set to open? Answer. Typically, the valve should be nameplate set to open at the mop maximum allowable working pressure of the vessel the valve is intended to protect. There is a tolerance to actual set pressure which means a valve set at 100 sig nameplates may open slightly above or below 100 sig. Consult the current ASME boiler and pressure vessel code for tolerance classes and special situations when the set pressure may be different than the mop. Question 7. What is the blowdown of a section we or non-code safety valve? Answer. The ASME boiler and pressure vessel code does not have blowdown requirements for section 8 or non-code valves. Blowdown may vary from less than 2% to more than 50% depending on many factors including valve design, dimensional tolerance, variation, where the set pressure falls in the set pressure range of a spring, spring rate slash force ratio, wandering slash guide settings, etc. Typical blow down for most valves is 15% to 30% but cannot be guaranteed. 
Question 8. How does back pressure affect valve set pressure and capacity? Answer. Back pressure reduces set pressure on a one-to-one -one basis, i.e., a valve set at 100 sig subjected to a back pressure at the outlet of 10 sig will not actuate until system pressure reaches 110 sig. Back pressure drastically reduces capacity. Typically back pressure of 10% of set pressure will decrease capacity by 50%. Specific capacity reduction should be determined by the user on a case by case basis by flow testing. Back pressure in excess of 10% of set pressure is not recommended.